Paige, where are you going? I'm going to like Planet Fabulous over here with me and my cream blush. Zoom! There we go. You can't see us, bitch. No, we're gone. We are gone. Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. So for today's video, we are going to be testing out the makeup that I picked up during the Shantikai sale. Now, before we get into this, before I even start testing out one damn thing or get into my own plugs, I need to give you a little bit of backstory because I... Oh my god, like, this makes me so excited. So, okay, my friend, the woman, the man, the myth, the legend, the garbage monster that she is, Little Miss Teresa. Oh, Teresa is dead. Um, I will, of course, have her channel linked down below. This bitch got Shantikai, okay? She got their attention, and because she has been talking about them, raving about their powders, and just, like, she loves this brand so much, and she's been bringing them attention, and she did it so much that they took notice of her, they sent her PR, and they gave her a coupon code that was live for this last sale that they had, and so many people, you guys, and I mean so many people, took advantage of the sale and went and shopped it, obviously myself included, and I'm just, I, like, I couldn't be more happy. You know how when, like, your best friend gets married or, like, they get a promotion at work or, like, this huge thing happens in your life and even though it didn't happen to you and, like, you know, you, you really don't have any tie to it in literally any way at all, you are just so unbelievably excited. You're, like, elated for their success. That is what I feel right now, okay? Like, that is the level of like just I'm just so proud to like know her and to know like who she is as a human being like obviously we all see her on YouTube and she's funny and she's smart and she's talented and like she has you know so many characteristics here but to know her as a friend and to be able to call her a friend is just it, like the whole thing makes me proud and then to know that she got the recognition that she deserves from a really high-end brand that like I, like I just I don't know the whole thing makes me so excited for today's video as far as products goes I did go through when I watched Teresa's video which if you didn't see it on her favorite Shantikai makeup I will link it down below but I chose some of the makeup that uh, she recommended that she really like loves and raves about um, so I wanted to make sure to pick some of that up because obviously homage to my lady but uh, I also went through and picked up a few things that kind of caught my eye that I was just like like, damn, like, we need to talk about it. It looks gorgeous. And uh, we just, we need to get into all the things. Now, before we get going into the makeup, you guys know what time it is. It's time for Paige to self-plug, self-promo. So get ready, okay? Number one, if you are new here, you don't know me, or you just don't know what's going on, my name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. And welcome to the channel, you guys. I put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. They go up around 7, 7.30 a.m. my time here in the good old Northern MI. Thing number two, the thing that I need you to hear when I say it, okay? Hear me when I say it. Please go over and follow me on Instagram if you have not done so yet. Um, that and Twitter will both be linked down below. I am super active though over on Instagram. I'm trying desperately to get to 10,000 followers so I can get the swipe up feature and I, I'm just, I'm at this point where at the beginning of every video we're just going to keep having this conversation. So please go check me out on Instagram. I have a little bit of everything over there. There's makeup, plus size fashion, regular, I don't know, just like random photos. I put my phone in a washer. That was quite the experience. Um, you know, all the good things there plus my everyday, um, Insta stories where I just check in with you guys throughout the day. So like I said, follow me Instagram and on Twitter. They will both be linked down below. Subscribe and let's go ahead and get into the video. Oh my God, does anybody else ever just like take a second and like push in on your eyeballs? <laughs> Is that a weird thing to ask? Okay, especially for glasses wearers, like I just have this desire, like I just wanna like push out my eyes <laughs> and just like, I don't know. Is that weird? <laughs> you know what? Don't answer that. That's probably weird. All right, beautiful people. So we're good. We're zoomed in and I did go ahead and throw a little primer on just a touch of my Tatcha liquid soap canvas just so that way that can get settled into the skin. And while it does, we can go ahead and talk about our first product, which is the foundation. This is the Shantikai Future Skin Oil-Free Gel Foundation. And on their website, which again, keep in mind, everything was on sale. I think it was 30% off, um, but I'm going to be giving you the retail prices of these products because obviously that's what they are, you know, normally. So it says on their website here, this is a $78 foundation, $78 foundation. Okay. I just want to, just want to like repeat that. I think that it bears repeating one full fluid ounce. And it says here that this is an oil-free gel foundation with an ultra lightweight, refreshing texture. The buildable formula provides adjustable coverage while light reflecting pigments ease the appearance of imperfections for a naturally flawless finish. On the box here, it says that this is adjustable coverage from medium to full. So, okay, that, that instills a little confidence. Um, let's go ahead and get it all opened up. I haven't went through any of this previously, so we're kind of getting all of the first impressions together. Okay, so here is the little container. It's just like a little glass component, which is actually nice. I really like the sleek. It has like a nice look, sophistication to it. Actually, what's really funny, I have a bottle of the L'Oreal True Match here, also one full fluid ounce, and this Shantikai one weighs less than this bottle <laughs> from L'Oreal, and I've actually used this 
this like maybe once or twice. So if anything, like this is a little under an ounce, which tells me that this, like the packaging of this one isn't quite as heavy or as hefty as the L'Oreal. Again, just putting it out there. I know it doesn't matter to everyone, but I just want to give you like that full review. Okay. I want to really paint the full fantasy. Anyways, let's go ahead and get it opened up. It's just a twist off. And when you open it, it has a little plastic card on top and it says, do not discard. I don't think you guys can read that, but uh, I'm assuming this is like what's going to seal over top of it. And this is the foundation. It is fairly liquid, but it's not so runny that it's just like running out of the container. Um, so let's go ahead. <laughs> Where do, how do I want to do this here? Okay. So I'm just going to take, and this didn't come with like a spatula or anything. So I'm just taking some and doing a little bit of this and kind of going from there. This has a very like watery type feel to it. Like it, I think it's very heavily water-based. First, I just want to take a little bit of it and kind of smear it around. Yeah, it's definitely um, a little bit lighter. And you know what's actually kind of weird is on camera, this looks way lighter, but in person, it actually doesn't look like it's a bad match at all. That's interesting. Okay, maybe it's just because the lights are hitting it, but just so you guys know in person, this is not a, an awful shade match. Like it's a little light, but it's not nearly as light as it's coming across. But I'm just gonna take now and go in. This is my Kaleido sponge. This was sent to me in PR, by the way, just, you know, full disclosure. In terms of coverage, I don't know. I don't know where the hell they got medium out of that because that was not medium in the slightest. That was very light coverage. Okay, so here's the deal. Coverage obviously wasn't the best with that, but I'm wondering if it's because, as I mentioned, this is like a very water feeling type formulation. And when you have a consistency like that or something that is more water-based, a lot of it can absorb into a sponge just because that's kind of the nature of, you know, water and sponges. So what I'm gonna do now is actually take a little bit more. We're gonna try it again. And this time around, I'm gonna grab a brush. This is my Pro 4F from, um, furless cosmetics and I'm just gonna take and try to um, kind of pat it in this way and maybe I could build up a little coverage doing that. Now, in terms of the finish, I would say that this is more of a satin, satin skin kind of finish because it does give me a little bit of light radiance, but it's not something to where I would call it dewy or glowy. Um, I would just say that this is very skin-like. Your skin really comes through. And again, giving me more so of like that CC BB cream kind of vibe that I just built up a little bit. It's, it's more so in that territory. Now, to go along with that, I'm gonna add a little bit of my Dose of Colors. This is the Meet Your Hue Concealer in the shade 03 fair. And I'm not going to go super heavy with this concealer, but I am going to apply enough that it kind of helps to still shape out the face. So I'm going to do a little test really quickly because I think that this foundation is oxidizing and right in this area is where there is just foundation. There's nothing else. So I'm going to take a little bit of the foundation just to do, oh yeah, oh, mm -hmm. Definitely oxidizing. Okay, uh, because I, as I was sitting here blending everything out, like my neck has changed color a little bit right through here. And even in blending out the uh, the concealer, I noticed that things were just looking a little bit different. Also, <laughs> for anybody that might not know this, sometimes my eyes, they just water like little bitches. And apparently, <laughs> apparently today is that day because they're watering like crazy. And it's just, uh, it's absolutely maddening. It is maddening, but you know, I'll, just, I'll try to take care of it. But just so you know, if they look a little bit watery, a little bit misty, I'm not tearing up. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, I promise. Actually, you know what? I might be tearing up over the amount of money that came out of my bank account for this video, <laughs> but you know, who's keeping score really, truly, truly, <gasps> truly. Now, as far as the rest of the face goes, I do have one cream product that we're going to be testing out. But before we get into that, I just want to set down my T-zone and my under eyes. So I'm going to take a little bit of my Fenty powder. This is in the shade butter. Okay. So next up with those all set down, we're going to move in to this cream cheek product. This is called their cream gelée, jelly, jelly, I don't know, uh, but it retails for $44 and it's actually a pretty big tube and I have it. There's three shades total. I have it in the shade lively, which says it is a fresh peach shade. I don't know if I'm the only one, but this kind of gives me like space shuttle vibes. Like, <laughs> Paige, where are you going? I'm going to like Planet Fabulous over here with me and my cream blush. Zoom! There we go. You can't see us, bitch. No, we're gone. We are gone. Okay, so can anybody else even see that cream blush? Like, I'm just wondering, <laughs> like, where did it go? To apply this, I just have some on the back of my hand here and I'm going to throw a little bit of it on the side of the sponge, just like a little clean section. I'm just going to take and pop that on because you never know. It could go on with a little bit more oomph. 
Oh, that's okay. That's pretty. It's very, very light and it definitely settles in as more of, again, like a watery type consistency. So in terms of like shade, color, that sort of thing, that's kind of what you'll be expecting. This is definitely one of those products. I don't even know like how well you can see it on camera, but if you're the type of person that, you know, you, you do like, you know, BB cream, CC cream all over the face, and then you want something to just like pat, pat on the cheeks like this, very low maintenance, very easy to use in that respect, which is nice. Eyes are leaking. My eyes are leaking. So bad. Okay, so now that I have the blush obviously applied to both cheeks, very nice light fresh moment, and I did go in as well and just add a little bit more of that Fenty powder up under the eyes because for some reason when I looked up close there was like <laughs> none under there like right up in this area, so I just added a little bit more. From here we're moving on to some powder products and you guys dare I say that there is no one on this world, okay? There is no love that anyone else possesses that will outlove me for powders. I love finishing powders. I love refinement. I love silky. I love smooth. And next up, we are touching <laughs> the most expensive bougie ass powder, okay? It's this little guy from Chantecai. <laughs> this little guy from Chantecai. And this is their Eclat de Okay, I don't, I don't know how to say it actually, like let's be real here, but this is a face powder. It says on the back here that softly blurring and perfecting, this luminous powder balm has a soft creamy texture that adds a gentle glow to the skin. And let me tell you, okay, <laughs> the price tag that is on this thing, okay, I'm thinking that this, I'm gonna go from me right now to like, I don't even know what, like Kira Knightley maybe? Like <laughs> I'm gonna need some, I'm gonna need some transfer fucking mation for this because this little fella, this little guy right here, retails for $92. $92, okay? I just want to keep that in perspective. Is that, are those like gold flakes? Like for fuck's sake, are those like real gold flakes? Cause bitch, I will scrape this thing apart right now, honey. I will get those, that gold, that, 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 that. I'm, I'm literally stuttering. That is, oh my God, those are gorgeous. Are those, what does it say? A giftable gold compact features a rose gold inlay and a decorative gold flake pattern. Damn it, it's decorative. Uh, I mean, here I was thinking for $92, maybe that was real gold, okay? It could, could be, could be. Anyways, open up the compact. It does come with a mirror here, and then this is the powder itself inlaid with a nice little C for little Miss Chantecai. And uh, we're gonna, we're gonna touch it. We're gonna kind of swatch it. Oh, this is the weirdest, most perplexing texture. <gasps> oh, but it's beautiful. Can you guys see like the nice sheen right there? Oh, oh, I'm so, I'm so intrigued. Now in terms of how I would normally apply powder, I'm kind of like a poof, 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 like just puff it all over the face kind of girl. But uh, given this consistency, I feel like it, just because it has like a thickness or like a weighted feel to it, I feel like I shouldn't do that. <laughs> I feel like maybe we should do like a powder puff type situation. This is just the one from KKW that I bought because I'm still testing out powder puffs. And uh, I'm gonna just flip it around so we have a clean surface and go in this way. Again, this is just trial and error. If I don't like this, I can switch over to a brush, obviously. And then just go through and start kind of lightly pressing it in because I don't want to press in too much because it does have, it does have a, you know, a hefty little sheen to it. But I just want to see, like, how's it? I, I love that I just looked at myself and made a kissy face. I was like, <laughs> like, Paige, why? I don't know. I, I don't know. Why, why do I do anything? Why am I who I am? Okay, you answer me that and then we'll go from there. That is this half of the face applied with a little powder puff. It actually looks really beautiful. The cheek right here, I don't know how well it shows up, but it does have a nice light little sheen. It's actually very, very pretty on the face. Like it just gives a healthy little glow. Now, because I am so curious on the other side, I am gonna test it out with a brush. This is my Sigma F05 Small Contour. I'm just gonna lightly kind of fluff into here and then kind of press it in. I'm going in with a small brush specifically, that way I don't, you know, glob on like a bunch of this powder in any one spot. And I'm also taking two while I'm applying this, just like I did with this side, and I'm kind of, you know, getting rid of that Fenty Bake, also incorporating that into this area up here. Okay, so if you guys, if the if the mic sounds kind of weird for a second, I'm just really leaning in close to the camera, so that way you guys can kind of see what we're looking at in terms of complexion, because I know, you know, when I'm farther away, it's a little bit harder to see. But I really want to try and show you, you know, not only only how the, the skin is looking as a whole, but how that powder really does just look gorgeous. Like it settles in really nice. And for as much as I was concerned, like with this luminosity aspect to it, um, it, it just settles in and gives you like the most effortless and light, beautiful glow on the skin. And then one thing I wanna mention just as a side note, because I know I'm gonna get questions. This is, this one right here is the powder that Teresa is always talking about from Chantecai. This is their Perfect Blur Finishing Powder. And I have not used this yet. I'm actually saving 
saving it for a different video so stay tuned but again it's just not in this video but I know I'm gonna get questions so stay tuned I'm really excited to use it it looks beautiful but to date I haven't tried it I can't compare it okay so next up it's time for some bronzer and I didn't pick up a bronzer during this sale but I do have a little bit of like a funny story for you so I'm gonna be using this one right here this is actually from Chantikai as well and this is their HD perfecting powder and I have it in the shade bronze and I actually tested this out I did like testing what was it Ber the, my Bergdorf Goodman or my Netta Porter sale one of them I'll, I'll link it up here anyways during that sale when I was shopping for it everything was like moving really really quickly on the site like the the scrolly was crazy stuff was selling out all over the place and so I was in you know a little bit of a hurry and when I saw this I saw Chantikai and bronze and I thought oh you know it's a Chantikai bronzer sounds good sign me up purchase and so I purchased it and then come to find out it's a perfecting powder um and this is just like the deeper tone <laughs> that they sell and it's not actually a bronzer so fun fact for me to you if you thought this was a bronzer evidently it is not but let's be real obviously it didn't deter me because I used it in that video and I thought it was really really beautiful really what I'm saying here is that we had kind of a happy accident but anyways moving on from there we are gonna get into blush and I picked up one of their radiance chic cheek and highlighter duos and this is in rose whale shark and then just to give you guys a really quick shot of the packaging like it's super beautiful very high resolution and then you open it up and here is the blush and the highlighter which also look gorgeous and here are the swatches of the two obviously you have the highlight and then the blush the blush is very nice they're both very finely milled um, and I would say in terms of the shade this is like a true more like Barbie pink kind of moment and it's super beautiful I, re I actually really like that color I think it's like just the right amount of poppy but like they pulled it back so it still has a level of sophistication to it I'm just gonna go in there with an it cosmetics 227 flawless blush brush. I'm going to grab a little bit of the pink blush and just kind of tap a little freckle of it on the cheeks here. Oh, that's very pretty. Okay, nice light pinky flush. Something I am noticing with Chantikai that I'm really liking, it reminds me a lot of like an hourglass vibe. Um, all of their powder products, like their blush, their bronzer, well, <laughs> what, I, what I thought was their bronzer, um, all, like all of their powder products have a level and like a refinement to them that's very consistent across the board. And the reason that I like that is twofold. Number one, it gives you that beautiful like blurring, that beautiful smoothing effect that you get from a finishing powder, but you have it almost infused into every single product you apply, which ultimately, just in my experience, ends up giving you a more flawless and a more smoothed out base versus how sometimes, you know, you go in with different products, other brands, whatever, and they don't have that level of like smooth, that level of refinement to them. So at the end of it, you'd actually have to reach for a finishing powder and like try to fix it and try to buff it in. And with these, because they all have that kind of built into them, you're going to get that same effect. But as you go, so per usual, before we even start talking about highlight, I'm going to go ahead and spray my face. This is just a little Morphe setting spray. Okay, so while that's soaking into the skin and uh, everything's getting ready, you guys are probably thinking, well, Paige, for highlight, you're just gonna go in. You know, there's a duo, there's a highlight, you can go that route. And, uh, you know, that, that's true and everything, but uh, I also bought a highlighter because I just can't be trusted, I can't be helped, and truthfully, I just love highlight, okay? So <laughs> I picked one up, and uh, this right here is the Chantikai Les Pleurs. <laughs> Les I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna need you to slow that down, ma'am. Les paillettes. Les paillettes. Les paillettes. Les paillettes. Les paillettes. Les paillettes. Okay, and that's what this is called. And a uh, fun fact, according to Google here, that it uh, from French to English, that translates over to glitter in English. Okay, so then there's a word I can get behind. Glitter. Glitter. Okay, yes, please. <gasps> you guys, it's gorgeous. Oh my God, hold on, look at this, look at this, look, look at this. Oh my God, you guys, you know how much I love packaging and presentation. Like, can you see how gorgeous that is? Like, look at the dimension. Oh my God, I'm, I am obsessed, I'm in love, I'm everything, like I don't even wanna use this. <gasps> I mean like I've, obviously we're going to because I'm, I'm, I'm addicted to shiny things, but oh my God, you guys, this is gorgeous. Okay, so here's how we're gonna do this because obviously like I have to swatch it, touch it, use it. Um, I'm gonna like shed a tear a little bit because it's so beautiful, but uh, to, to swatch it, I'm gonna go in and like just do a two both sides so you can see what they look like individually. <gasps> oh, those feel good, I mean, really good and oh 
Oh, God, they're so gorgeous, too. Okay, let's go ahead and let's just, like, you know, clear out the world here because, oh, my God, beep, beep, toot, toot, I'm coming through. <gasps> oh, my God, yes. Mm -hmm. So there is, like, the, the more goldy shade right there, and then over here is, like, a whiter shade. Let's mix them together. <laughs> let's, let's see how they look mixed together, okay? Oh, it's just, like, a beautiful golden champagne moment. I think what I want to do is mix the two a little bit, and I'm going to weigh a little bit heavier on the lighter side just because it is a little bit more fitting for my complexion. But... So I want to go in and just kind of mix the two together a little bit here. And we're starting off on this side. Oh, <gasps> I am so weak at the knees right now, honey. Yes. Oh my God. That's, that's, oh my God. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Now moving on to this side, we're going to take just this highlight shade right here, which is a little bit deeper for my skin tone. And then let's get her going. <gasps> oh my God. That side's also beautiful. Only thing is, I, it's not like giving me a weird cast necessarily, but it is just a freckle bit, like a teeny bit too gold for what I would typically reach for. Oh yes, honey. Get me that expensive ass bougie little chalupa chin. Y'all just better get down on that chalupa. Yes, bitch. Now, really quickly, I'm just moving on and getting some more face stuff on. These are my brow products I'm going to be using, the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit. This is in 3.5. And then I'm also going to be using, wherever it's at down here, I'm going to be using their Gimme Brow Gel, which is in, I think, the shade 5, I want to say. And both of these were sent to me in PR. And for the eyes, I just went in with a little concealer just as a base, and I didn't pick up any eyeshadow products from this sale, so I'm just throwing a little bronzer through the crease and then all over the lower part of the lid I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this single shadow that I picked up this is their luminescent eye shade in cheetah which is just a warm champagne but I'm not using like a glitter glue or anything because I just want it to be like a nice light kind of shimmer shade I don't want it to be like super impactful just like nice and light super lilty. Also, which one of you was going to tell me that the crusty butthole line on my mouth literally runs all the way across my damn face, okay? Like, who was going to let that cat out of the big-ass bag? Who was going to be like, hey, Paige, listen, bitch, your lips are crusty. Fix fix that business because they're looking, oh, they're not looking good. Okay, let's just like, let's just wipe that off. Ew. Okay, so at this point, it's about time to go in with mascara, which before I go in with that, I like to really seal my face in with some setting spray. So I'm going to grab first my Urban Decay All Nighter. And, uh, it's time to get into mascara and lastly lips, both of which I do have a product from Shantikai and both of which came highly recommended from Lil Miss Teresa. So let's go ahead first off and we're going to talk about the mascara. This is the Shantikai Fossils Longest Lash Mascara, of course, in the shade black. And it says on their website here that uh, this mascara retails for $72. Oh, oh my God, $72 for a mascara. Literally, who am I? <laughs> let's let's just do it. Let's just like do the damn thing. I'll be, I'll be the first one to tell you I'm honest when it comes to mascaras. I have my favorites. I am super, super picky. And then really quick, I'm just gonna hold this mascara here obnoxiously close to the camera so you guys can get a good look at it. And then here is the brush, the wand, whatever you wanna call it. It is a very densely packed wand. I'm just gonna go through here and get a good first coat on both sides, let it dry, and then do a second coat. And and I figure when it's all said and done and I have it built up to, you know, where, where I would, you know, typically wear my lashes, then we can kind of talk about the formula and, and round it all out. All right. So I just got done applying a couple coats of the mascara, letting it dry. And I'll, you guys will see the up close here in a second to really get like a full picture of, you know, the lift and all of that. But what I will say about this mascara is that Teresa was hundred percent right in terms of like the lengthening and how really like beautifully lifted this mascara does take your lashes. I really Really like the fact too that you can like see my lashes all the way up here you can really like see them when you look at me they're not just like little little sticks of black like sticking out of my eyeballs they actually look really nice and then last but not least we have a lip product to round out the face this is one of their lip chics and these retail for $38 I have it in the shade Calla Lily and in the description here it says this exceptionally comfortable formula is easy to apply and creates an even finish that is shiny but never sticky lip chic leaves lips fuller and decidedly more youthful in appearance but never irritated 
crafted in Italy, and it combines the high shine effect of a gloss with the rich, even coverage of a lipstick. Oh my word, you guys, I am obsessed with that. It looks so good. Like the, the texture is super comfortable. It has a beautiful kind of glossy vibe going on, but where it said in the description that this was like a hybrid between a lipstick and a gloss, that is 100% accurate. It's so comfortable. But all right, beautiful people, this here is the finished look. Obviously, I took my hair down, scooched back a freckle, and from here, we're gonna go ahead, throw up the up close, and kind of talk about my closing thoughts on all the makeup and how everything came together. So let's go ahead and get that up on the screen. Um, I think in terms of like the face overall, you know, complexion, everything, if I had to like rate it, everything together, I think it looks really beautiful. I, I like the refinement. I like a lot of the products. And I, and I really like the way too that as I applied them to my skin, I could see a noticeable difference for most of them, which is, which is good. That's what I look for in, um, you know, higher end complexion products with that refinement quality. Now, with this face specifically and how, and how everything looks, um, I, I would say with a fair amount of certainty that I don't think this foundation is for me. Oh, hello, beautiful people. Okay, so here's the situation. Um, I put this foundation on, like this whole face of makeup, several hours ago, okay? And I'm talking like several hours ago. I wanted to stop on here and give you guys a wrap up, a different wrap up rather with this foundation because I make some really valid points in the closing here about, you know, how I don't like it, it doesn't look good, blah, blah, blah. And I fully intended like for that to be the end of the video. But like I said, you know, I ended up going outside, I went for a walk and I hung out with my parents, the grandkids were over, like I was just hanging out for a little while and then of course before I know what I get engulfed in this show it's been several hours and I looked in the mirror and I couldn't believe it like I was actually shocked at how good my skin still looks like in this lighting because I'm not checking obviously I'm just doing this on my phone so I'm not like using you know my good camera I'm not in the lighting but like I'm so impressed that after I mean at this point at least at least 10 to 12 hours of wear um, this is still on my skin. It still looks really good. My skin has like a nice, healthy look to it. Um, I am getting a lot of transfer, obviously, like my T-zone is oily, all of that. But I just wanted to stop on here because, um, when I was going through and like giving my conclusion with this foundation, I I'll be honest, like I didn't like it. I thought it looked really bad. I didn't think there was any hope for it. And I'm actually, well, I don't want to say I didn't think there was any hope, but I thought I would have to do like a little bit more work with it to make it like melt into the skin. And, um, yeah, that, that's it. I just wanted to stop in and you know let you guys see kind of how this went I hope you guys all um finish out the video bloopers all the good things and um yeah i'll talk to you guys later bye, -bye. <laughs> that was that was a lot. You guys, with that, we are officially at the end of the video. Don't forget to leave me all of your thoughts and opinions down below, whether it is on the products I tested, if it is on, I don't, I don't know, anything else you want to talk about, just leave it down in the comments. Don't forget, like I said at the beginning, go down and check out Teresa. Her channel will be linked down below. And you know what? Really quickly, I'm just going to have myself like a little proud, like soccer mom Libra moment, okay? Because it just like the, the conversation, it fits, okay? So really quick, while we're on the topic of Teresa, Teresa, if you are watching this, oh my God, like you are, I'm so proud of you. You, and I'm so proud of just everything and you guys she really is I know I said it before but just to reiterate she is you know she's funny she's smart she's hilarious she's beautiful she's she's good at, at like this kind of stuff and she's just she's such a good well well-rounded person and she's so sweet and she's so worth checking out and I don't know Teresa I'm so happy for you I just want you to know like congratulations I feel like that doesn't even like matter coming from me but I'm so happy and I'm so proud of you and from the outside you know looking at you you're such a humble person and I want you to know that you are killing it. Like you're doing so good and the rest of us, we're just gonna sit back, like we're gonna watch you in awe and be so happy and so proud of you. And you are so loved and you're so needed here and you're worth it and I just, oh guys, I can't say enough good things. I absolutely think she's fantastic. I think the world of her and I, yeah, that that's it. I'm not gonna keep going on because I think I'm, I'm already weird enough. Okay, absolutely stop right now. Thank you so much, motorcycle. But anyways, I'm not gonna drone on because I already sound like a weirdo, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop, but congratulations. And again, you guys, let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down in the comments. Like I said again before, if you haven't checked me out yet, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and please, for the love of God, God himself wants you to follow me on Instagram. Okay, go ahead, go follow me on Instagram. I'll have a link down below. And beautiful people, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I'm gonna plug my phone and it's gonna die. My phone's gonna die. Okay, well, that was a bit dramatic. I mean, it, I mean, it is gonna die, but like also calm the fuck down. And to take this, I'm, okay, no.
the eyeballs water, okay? Yes, we get it, eyes. We get it. You're gonna water. You're gonna water whenever you want to, and you're gonna ruin everything. We get it. I don't know if y'all noticed yet, but I'm like a little bit dramatic. Truly, if you look at that and you see it as a brow bone highlight, like just, ooh, honey, just imagine. I love that I just bit my lip like a fucking creep. I'm like, ooh, <laughs> like, bitch, calm down a little bit, ma'am. You need, you need to breathe a little bit.